answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. I've been doing this more than you. You ain't got. Come on, chill out. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. You ain't been doing the education. You ain't been doing the education. Yo, what is up? It's me, I'm in here. We're in the gym now. Uh, getting a late one in tonight. So, we're gonna get started, as always, with the dynamic warm up. So, take about five minutes. Go ahead and get a full body warm up in. Dynamic means that. We're constantly moving, changing speed and velocities as we stretch. We want to get a full body one in. So uh, go ahead and get that started. Um, I'm getting a late one in today. It is Wednesday about 9 p.m. And it is a motherfucking madhouse in here. So uh, we got back on the agenda. And so we're going to see what kind of back work we can get in here. It's rush hour now, I don't usually come at this time. So, I guess we're at the mercy of the standard gym goer. I have a feeling all the barbells are gonna be open tonight. Um, the way this works is I'm gonna go through a workout. You can follow along with me. I've got the workout posted in the description box. So, you can go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Set it as a background on your phone. It's gonna let you know what I'm doing. So you don't gotta keep opening your shit up, taking a look. Um, so, simplified. Otherwise, you can just listen to the podcast like any other. We got plenty of things to talk about. I care about your answer, not Um, I'll do my best to cancel out all this noise that we got going on in here. Um, so, yes, Wednesday night, I don't usually do these, this is like a throwback, I used to work out around this time, every night for the first few years, um, let's see how this goes today, um, bear with me as I go through this warm up. Just trying to get warm. Before we get going. So, um, we got plenty to talk about today. So, let's get into it. Um, there were some fights over the weekend. I definitely want to touch on that a little bit. So, uh, as we've all heard by now, We're all back on the Conor McGregor hype train. <laughs> uh, some of us never left, you know. A lot of people jumped off board. Thought it was gonna be another Mike Tyson story or some shit. Where the man goes soft with some money. Where the heart's not there. And uh, in 40 seconds we learned a lot. <laughs> we stormed out of the fucking gate reminiscent of Masvidal. And uh, I believe the strike count was he landed 19 of 20 thrown strikes. The first shot he threw is the only one he missed. It's a huge left hand, open it up. Uh, Jesus. That was a fucking beat down. That was about as rough of 40 seconds as you could possibly get. Um, God, you gotta feel a little bit bad for Cerrone. He didn't even get started. He didn't even get to showcase anything. He just got in there and got dealt with. Heavy. And I'm talking like, he got, I think his, uh, his orbital and his nose broken. And that shit went down in 40 seconds. So that's gotta be some type of fucking record in and of itself. Um, excuse me while I get some power skips in. You all better be getting warm right now as well. I don't want to get snapped up as we go through here. Um, 
So, yes. We're all talking about Connor. We're all back on board. Who's next is the question. Hopefully he fights pretty soon. We didn't get to see a lot of him. I'd like to see a lot more here soon. We'll see what he's got. Um, all right, I think I'm warm. We'll go see what's open in here and we'll get us a back workout in. Um, let's talk about possible contenders here. Um, it seems like Masvidal's kind of acting like he don't want to fight anymore. He's going to focus on Usman. Hopefully Usman and Masvidal do fight. That leaves Connor with either Justin Gaethje or uh, and who else could he fight? It's going to be tough. It's a tough one. Um, Gaethje's is kind of lesser known. So I'm not sure if Connor wants to take a fight like that because it's pretty dangerous. Um, man, I just want to see him fight. I don't want to have him wait another six to seven months to get another fight in. All right, um, this T-bar row is open, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the upper back off the gate, off the starting line. Um, so we're gonna get started with a T-bar row. This is a uh, just a typical T-bar row, just fine. One of those, you probably got one in your gym. Uh, if you just have a barbell, you can stick it in a corner and get a T-bar or a, any straight bar and get a T-bar row out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up with a 25. <coughs> We're gonna take an overhand grip. We're gonna pull up. We're gonna get about 10 or 12 of these. start making notes I had a lot of shit I wanted to touch on and eh, maybe it'll come to me spur of the moment type of guy um, so we'll see what happens today Man, that was a clean, clean performance. Um, you could tell like by his body language and just his, uh, if you took in his aura a little bit, it was drastically different than when he fought Khabib the last time. When he fought Khabib, he was a little bit over the top. He just, it seemed like, you know, he was uh, in a way like forcing his, his behavior. I don't know, he just didn't seem like himself. Um, maybe I just think I'm reading into it well, but, uh, I don't think so. Honestly, fuck it. Um, he didn't look the same versus Khabib. In this fight, he came out, he was calm. Uh, he didn't do too much as far as, like, trying to entertain a lot of people and just play up his character. He just came in to fight, and when he comes in a fight, he's a bad motherfucker. And not many people can compete with him, as evidence. Cerrone's had what, like 32 fights in the UFC? No one stopped him in fucking 40 seconds. Second one upset in now. Despite it all, man, if you were uh, like me, you followed Connor since before he was in the even in the UFC. You watched his interviews. I remember watching him on MMA Hour. And he was a cool motherfucker. Um, he can talk. He can fight. 
He's entertaining. He's got a good look. Nice physique. Not to mention he's got a whole country behind him. It's good to see him back and come back like that. I was super satisfied with that. Um, my God, I, uh, I don't want to dwell on the negative, but fucking hell, that co-main event was so rough to get through. Holly Holman and Raquel Pennington. What the fuck were those girls doing out there? That about killed everything. I understand working a game plan, but damn. Let's fight instead of clinch. All right, set number one, we're gonna go up to 12 here. Okay, so I got a 45 on. reps are done um, I'm gonna go up a little bit I'll put on a 10 for the second set we'll do three to four sets here uh, what else is going on um, Like I was saying earlier, um, it's been a while since I worked out this late. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get in here earlier these days, so I don't have to avoid, I don't have to deal with all the crowds, I get to avoid all the weird looks and uh, all the fucking noise and distractions. So right now it's a little bit weird and different. Um, in other news, sorry about this fucking marathon I'm about to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're following my Instagram stories, which you should be, you have seen I started my marathon training, let's see, on Sunday. Sunday was day one, and it's now Wednesday. Um, before I get started with that, let's get set number two in. We'll go for 10 reps here. I added 10 pounds. Do what feels right to you. Make sure the form is all there. Make sure you can control this at the top and you're not swinging using your momentum and hanging on your fucking joints, relying on the velocity of the barbell to get it up. Um, so let's go for 10 here. Make sure you're using that breath, getting a good squeeze in your rear delts and traps before you let it down. All right, pretty easy work there. I'll go up again. Um, yes, uh, day one marathon training. Uh, we went in here, we got it in, man. We did five miles all the way through. It took us like uh, 47 minutes to get five miles done. It's not a bad pace. Not to mention we started off at like six miles per hour and uh, incrementally made our way up to seven miles per hour with uh, uh, an incline involved with that too. So uh, all in all, to come off the couch and get five miles in and not feel too bad about it, Still keep it at like a five or a six difficulty level out of 10. I'd say that's pretty fucking good. I was measuring my um, resting heart rate this week too. And I uh, got a couple of different readings. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it three times a week and post those results to my blog. Um, 
So you can check that out on the blog if you're interested in the resting heart rate. Um, my resting heart rate's pretty good right now. I measured it today at 52 beats per minute. Um, the way I'm measuring it is just I'm palpating the wrist and checking a stopwatch. And I'm taking whatever beats I get at 15 seconds and multiplying it by four. And that's how I'm getting my beats per minute. If you wanna try yourself and see where you're at. They say that the lower your resting heart rate is, uh, the better shape you're in cardiovascularly. So high endurance runners, they're gonna have like a low 30, maybe even a high 20 beat per minute heart rate. I say the average person is gonna have a 70 to 80. Um, not verified, but I'd say that's a good ballpark estimate. So I'm not in bad, for coming off the couch, I'm not in bad shape. It just proves what I do is high intensity enough that I've particularly been doing interval trainings for the last few months. Um, that shows that it's kept me in good shape overall. All right, third set here. We're going to get another 10. Pretty easy work there. I'll get one more set in and we'll switch it up. Uh, it's weird. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm excited to get in here and run. I've kind of had to uh, hold myself back the past few days from coming in here and just getting a run in. Uh, of course, the only thing that sucks about it is the time required. Uh, there ain't no way you're running five or 10 miles without spending some time in here. It's time doing one movement in one plane of motion constantly. Steady state, they call it. So, uh, uh, but I've been, I've, been, I've been wanting to scratch the itch a little bit. Tomorrow we're coming in here and we're going to do another probably five or six miles. And we're going to save a long one for this weekend. We may go outside. We'll see how the weather is, but um, we'll get a long one in this weekend. Just kind of test us out. Um, I'm estimating we burn like between six and 700 calories during that 48 minute run or 47 minute run. So that's a good amount. I know I was very fucking hungry afterwards. And uh, no matter how much I ate, which was a lot, I woke up the next day carved up. So uh, although I don't appreciate a runner's physique much per se, pretty gooey for me, pretty thin and gooey. Um, I'm not a runner, I'm just doing a fucking marathon and I'm just gonna do some running on the side. So we'll see how my physique changes. I'm posting all those progress pics on my website as well. So make sure you subscribe to the blog and uh, the Instagram stories, the Facebook stories, whatever. However, just make sure you're tuned in somewhere. Checking all that out. Okay, four set now, it's in my hands, let's go. One, two. Hold it and squeeze, hold it and squeeze. Let it go slow, 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 slow. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've never done this shit before, but Father Time is knocking on the door. Now I'm about to turn 30. So, when I'm 30, I'm gonna do some shit I've never done before. And uh, running 26 miles is definitely a milestone achievement for me at this point in my life. And it's definitely getting done. So, should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I'm gonna look forward to something else in here. Not a lot open. So I'm gonna do my best to find something worth doing. Um, like I always say, I do these on the fly. Especially right now, I don't know what's gonna be open and what's not. So, uh, kinda just looking around in here, jumping on whatever's open. And I write everything down afterwards. 
I've been lifting for a little bit now, so the way I divvy up the exercises, um, I basically do it automatically. It's like I got a Rolodex in my head of things that pair well back to back and I'm able to just kind of play it by feel. I know what's going to be good and what's not going back to back. So we just hit kind of um, middle trap, rear delt, a little bit of rhomboids with that T-bar. So now we're going to switch it up and go to an easy bar. I got an easy bar here. So uh, this is a short bar. It's got the dips in it. It's got the, uh, uh, the multi-grip handle. So we're going to do this. This bar is 25 pounds. And uh, we're going to do an underhand row with this one here. So that'll be our second set. Um, I'm going to put on... I'm going to put on 95 pounds. It's not going to be a lot, but I'm just going to feel it out right now. Um, I may switch it up and start doing some endurance work now too. So the exciting thing about doing this marathon is... Uh, I'm going to put the heavy lifting on hold for the moment. And uh, that means fresh gym companions are going to be coming out, working more endurance. Um, we all win. I've already got some strength at workouts logged in on these podcasts. So if you want some strength stuff, I would go back in time and check that shit out. Um, I'm going to be doing some different shit now. Um, but with the marathon and everything, I'm not taking it super serious. Um, although my serious is probably, uh, to most people, psychotic. Um, <laughs> so uh, by not serious, I mean I'm definitely gonna train for it and uh, I'm gonna try to get a pretty good, respectable marathon time in. Hopefully my partner can keep up. He definitely kept up on Sunday when we came in here. I was pretty surprised because he doesn't ever do cardio really. He doesn't have as much muscle as me though, so puts him in a little bit of an advantage. All right, let's go ahead and get one set in here. Um, we're gonna see where we're at here. Um, I'm just gonna go. I've got 95 pounds on this bar. It's not very much, so we're gonna see what we get here. Uh, it'll be written down for you, so you would already know by now. So let's sink down, bend at the waist, hips back, legs straight but not locked. Pull up between your belly button and sternum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. 15 feels good, so uh, we're gonna do 15. We're gonna keep it between 12 and 15 today on this. We'll start to dip our toe into those, um, those lighter loads and uh, shorter rest periods. Work a little bit of the endurance fibers. The slow twitchers. Uh, the only thing I really felt whenever I was running was um, a lack of endurance or uh, perhaps uh, just a lower ability of my body to shuttle hydrogen out of my leg muscles. So I was getting a little bit of a burning and a little bit of a heavy feeling as I was doing the run. The lungs felt really good. So uh, I had myself push a sled in here earlier, very slow. Um, not much weight, but super slow. Big steps, long set. To really fucking put some ability in those legs. So I'm building up my legs right now to be able to s sustain, blah, blah, blah. Sustain. Um, long-term use because uh because yeah this ain't like i'm used to this kind of training so it's definitely going to be an adjustment period jim's fucking clearing out 
Loving it. Um, we're probably going to do uh, maybe just three sets here. We'll keep it at 12 to 15. Uh, you don't got to put on weight if you don't feel like it. Um, we're all doing different kind of... I like to leave a little bit of wiggle room here. Um, I always like progressive overload. That's where you just add like two and a half or five pounds to each side um, between each set. That's kind of how bodybuilding is done. And uh, that's kind of the way I, I've always sort of trained. Um, I've got one of my clients on the 80-20 program now. Um, it's a little bit different. It's uh, uh, I learned about it via Pavel Tatsuyan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, some of his modalities as far as building strength in Russia. Um, <laughs> and these motherfucking Russians know how to build some strength. So I'm going to listen to his program. And he doesn't have you step up at all set to set. He has long rest periods of like five to ten minutes. And whatever weight you start with is what you finish with. It's five by five. You have a heavy training day and a light training day. So a heavy squat day, a light squat, heavy bench, a light bench. So you're doing those movements twice a week. Um, you take 70% of your one rep max and uh, that's what you start with in week one. And then each week you just move up 10 pounds or so. Um, it's pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes on my client. He's looking to build some strength. So um, I'll report back in a couple weeks, tell you how he's doing. All right, set number two, grab underhand, step back. Uh, this is a hip hinge, so bend at your waist. Get your upper body parallel to the ground. Now we're gonna pull with our elbows up. One, two, Fifteen again. I'll go up another five. This will put me at one fifteen. Jesus, I saw some hilarious shit, man. It's it's hilarious what people will post on, uh, I can't believe people can post this shit on their business Instagram pages. There were some fucking ludicrous statistics that were shown on this yoga place that's local around here. This shit was baffling. They claimed like a 16% uh, increase in arm strength over four weeks. Like it was a fact, like here are the facts. And it laid out a bunch of shit, it said like, said some fucking crazy shit. We'll reduce your heart rate 30%. <laughs> It'll get you off blood pressure medication. Um, it clears your mind and allows you to work and efficiently. It will uh, <laughs> you know how it is. But uh, god damn they said some shit that was just absolutely non- Factual. That's some fake news type shit. Made me laugh. Um, but it also made me a little bit pissed off, <laughs> to be honest. All right, let's do a third set here. We'll do another 15. You can do 12 to 15. Fifteen done. That's three sets. Seven sets deep now. 
Uh, that last one felt pretty decent. Let's see, I couldn't do a whole lot more than 15 of those. So it's about right. Starting to get some sweat rolling finally. So that's good. Um, yeah, holy fuck, man. A quick Google search will tell you what you need to know about their facts. I mean, how are you gonna put a 16% increase in arm strength? What the fuck were you measuring for? How are you measuring arm strength, first of all? There's, <laughs> they're not putting anything about how they measure it. They're literally just guessing a percentage, then throwing it on their business page. Um, if, that doesn't show, if that doesn't show you like a lack of readiness, uh, a lack of homework, a lack of research, if that doesn't just jump off the page at you, you must just not know what you're looking at. Uh, let's see. I'd like to do some kind of cable. Or a machine, so I'm looking around a little bit. I think, I think I'll do this uh, diverging lat pull down. This is a pre-core machine. This one feels pretty good, so. Uh, this is an overhead position, so we get to work a little bit of shoulder flexibility. And it's a vertical pull. So that's one we haven't done yet. Uh, I'm not sure what weight to start with here. So I'll figure it out. Um, on this one, let's do 10 to 15. You can do 10 to 15 here. Um, this is a good assistance exercise. If, if, uh, if pull-ups aren't your specialty, these are decent machines to uh, hit similar muscles. It's definitely not gonna translate very well to a pull-up. Nothing will but a pull-up and like an inverted row. Um, but, you know, we get to work some muscles here. Some of those sexy muscles, which we all wanna have, let's be honest. Okay. I'm gonna lower the seat. If I fucking know how. All right, let's do this. No warm up on this. We're just gonna get straight to the set. Okay. Oh shit, the song just hit, dog. <laughs> this shit makes me laugh. This is Warren Zivon. I gotta do 15 reps there. Oh fuck, man, it's not. God damn, it's Kid Rock, that son of a bitch. He stole that sample beat. Fuck, I thought this was Werewolves of London. It's some Kid Rock country bullshit. Oh well. I know what's playing in my head right now. Uh, That's the shit. <clears throat> shit makes me want to eat Chinese too. Great song. Kid Rock is okay. I prefer, if anything, his first album. Uh, not much rest periods on these. So I drop 20 pounds, you do what you feel. I'm gonna aim for uh, 12 reps on this one, and then I'll finish with 10. So anywhere 10 to 15 is what the rep range we're aiming for is. 
So load up with whatever you want accordingly. If you want to work more endurance muscle fibers, um, go ahead and do 15 reps each time. If you want to work a little bit of sexy muscle, uh, hit that tipping point of hypertrophy, go ahead and increase the weight, drop down to 10 reps and go. Okay, so set number two, get set in your hands and go. One, two, I drop another 20 finish this third set with 10 um i don't even mean to shit on these other companies who are trying to get people active and fit but you can't just put up non-factual information call it facts have no norms for any of the shit you're saying have nothing to back it up and, and get away with it not in my fucking book i'm gonna call your ass out on that every time but uh, at this point, I won't call out any local, any local companies. This is a yoga studio. I don't know. Looks like they're fucking trying. But be a little bit smarter with what you put on the fucking internet, representing your business. All right. <clears throat> Let's do the third set now. Go ahead. Let's do it. One. Two. Good. Squeeze. Release. Slow, slow. Pull. Squeeze. Release. Go. Six. Seven. Keep breathing. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Trying to sweat, it's just not really happening. Um, let's see what else, let's see what else. We're gonna do some kind of free weight now. Mm. I think we'll do something unilateral. We've hit everything bilateral for now, so. We'll do a row of some kind. Uh, may do something like uh, one of these straight bars. If you have these in your gym, they're on the racks. They go from like 20 pounds up to 110. Uh, I think I'll do a row with that machine just to give me a little bit of like, uh, just make it a little bit awkward, make it a little bit different. Instead of a normal dumbbell row, we'll do a straight bar row, unilateral. So. Um, know that you have to drop the weight that you normally do because uh, this is going to put you in a little bit of an awkward position. The weight's going to be distributed differently than you're probably used to, so make sure you account for that. I'm going to just start with a 60. I ain't setting no records in here today. Changing up the style. I got faked out again. Thought they was about to play some foreigner. Um, so yes, we're gonna do three to four sets here. We may make it four, see how this feels. It's been a while since I've done this shit, so. Um, 
shit. I, sorry, I forgot to explain how this works. So you just need a flat bench. Um, it's just like a typical dumbbell row. You're in the same position. The weight is just going to be uh, outside of your leg instead of like almost between your legs here. One knee is up on the bench. Uh, the same side arm is tied down to the bench. Your upper body's parallel to the ground. And you're just gonna pull with your free, free arm up at your elbow to activate your lats. So uh, if you have trouble understanding what I mean, just Google a dumbbell row unilateral and uh, you'll see what I mean. You're gonna get in the same position there. Okay, so I got the right side done. We're gonna move to the left. We're using a straight bar though, instead of a dumbbell. If you've never done this shit before, maybe go ahead and use a dumbbell today. Okay. There's one set done. I think I'll go up. Yeah, I'll go up on this. Jesus Christ, we got a shitload of good fights coming up here. I'm so stoked for Adesanya and Romero. I mean, people, I see people actually complaining about that shit. It's ridiculous. You got the fucking soldier of God fighting style bender. You got the supreme athlete versus a wizard, a technician in there of stand-up. That shit is gonna be fucking amazing. Can't wait for that. I think that's March 8th. So it's only like six weeks away, five weeks away. Fuck yeah, man. Before that, you got a uh, co-main event is Joanna versus Li Zhang which is going to be a really good women's fight. If you know both of their styles, they're both... Uh, Wiley Zhang just knocked out Jessica Andraj, kind of took the crown for, uh, for the heaviest-handed female in the UFC. Uh, Wiley Zhang beat the brakes off Andraj. I think it was in under like a minute and a half. Did that shit in China. Now she's fighting Ioana. Again, another tactician versus a... A, uh, a powerful, aggressive opponent. So those two fights back to back like that, fucking hell. That's gonna be a card. I'd like to get me a fight companion done with that one. Need to squat up. All right, let's do the second set here. Uh, let's go for 10 reps here. We'll go 12, 10, 8 here. Okay, 12, 10, 10, 8, we'll do that. All right, second set, let's go. side it's that weak side on me gonna even it out here let's go eight 
Nine. Ten. All right. Making good time today. About 45 minutes in. Let's see how many sets. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I think this will make it 14. So after this, I think we'll just do a burnout. That'll make it 16 sets. It's about the norm. I can't make these gym companions too complicated. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get super focused. You're not gonna hear a lot of talking. You're not gonna hear a lot of cueing. You're just gonna hear me grunting and grinding my way through a fucking hellacious workout. And I can tend to get real intense. I'm not feeling like putting that kind of heavy breathing out there on the internet right now. We ain't to that point yet. We ain't made it there yet. <laughs> so, this is what it is for now. Maybe whenever I get a camera crew in the future, I'll get real fucking freaky in here. That's when you'll really see some shit. For now, we'll keep it, keep it clean in here. Speaking of keeping it clean, Get the third set in. Maintain that real good form. Don't push the weight, it's form over everything. We're gonna go for another 10 reps here on each side. So get set. Let's pull. Water break. <sighs> um, I'm trying to get a good setup for my camera. There's this shotgun mic I'm trying to pick up. It's gonna improve. Uh, audio pickup so that's in the works that one's coming uh, that GoPro 8 I had issues with it at first that bitch kept turning on and off I was not liking that fucked up a couple of videos I was trying to do but uh, that's a dope ass camera Video quality on it is nice. Not to mention I fuck with the settings a little bit. And I'm now shooting in linear mode versus wide angle. Um, I know that you can crop out the fisheye lens on um, in post processing, but I ain't trying to fuck with all that. I'm learning all that as I can. So, uh, and I got plenty to learn. I'm reading too much as it is. Don't got enough time. So, uh, I did 60, 70, 70. 80 is MIA, so it's looking like, uh, God damn it. It's looking like it may be a curl bar. 
Or you know what, for me it may be looking like a dumbbell. Whatever. Get this shit done so we can move on. I'm gonna just get the uh, dumbbell and grab an 80. Go ahead and do the straight bar if you got it. Do eight reps here. bitches need to watch YouTube or something. See how to perform repetitions. See a lot of shit swinging in here. Making me sick. It's like you're on a fucking roller coaster doing curls in this bitch. People are jerking around, fucking hitting walls and shit, bouncing off the floor. It's like, what the fuck, bro? All right, left side. Let's see how we're gonna finish this shit. Happy to get out of this fucking war zone over here. There's fucking bodies everywhere. All right, fuck yeah, I got a good idea. We're gonna finish this shit with some torture. I got a good idea. So find yourself, I'm gonna say like any hammer strength back machine you can find. You can do a high row, you can do a mid row, whatever. I'm gonna go to the mid row machine. So I got a couple of different grips I can switch to if I need. And we're gonna do, I want you to just grab either 10s or 25s, and I want there to be four plates on there. So f four plates total, depending on your level. Um, we're gonna run the racks here, it's called. So you need four plates on, whatever they are, figure it out. They don't even all have to be the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna do all 25s. And we're gonna get a burnout in here, so. 10s, 25s, mix it up. Just make sure there are four plates on there. We'll see whether one or two sets is good for this one. It's been a while since I've done this shit. <laughs> Keep saying that, it's been a while. Motherfucker, I'm in here every day. It's been a while since I've done this particular scheme. That's a fact. And I don't think I increased my arm strength 18% in three weeks, like they said. But we'll work with what we got. I can work with this. Grabbing all these fucking plates in here. Thanks, bro. I'm sure we can find enough. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't mean to. I gave that guy that fucking death stare. <laughs> he 
Hey now. It's all right, man. It's all good. <laughs> it's hard to know who's using what shit. It's all good. All right. Here's how this shit works. So you're gonna do 10 reps, up to 10. Then you're gonna take a plate off each side. So we're gonna be doing Fifty reps here. All right, and there's no rest in between. The rest is for you to get up and take these fucking plates off. So get set on those starting blocks. We're gonna be here for a minute, and uh, don't do ten if you're swinging like a fucking banshee in here. If you're swinging like an ape from a fucking tree, I want you to stop where you're at. Keep all the muscle activation where it needs to be. And we'll get a good burnout here. So let's do it. Let's run this shit. One down. All right, back to it. Let's go. Two, three. This is gonna hurt. Just make it hurt where it needs to. Six, seven. Oh. All right, two down. Take the plate off. Keep running it, keep running it. All right, let's go. Number three. So what we're gonna do is put all the plates back on. We just did four sets there. Put everything back on. Let's get one more of these in before we say goodbye. You can say goodbye to your fucking biceps. Not what I'm saying right now. Shit is on fire. We're gonna take a short rest here, get you some water. I've neglected to mention that today. By now you should know. Be sure you drink the water between each set. You should be down in a few bottles while you're in here. I'm gonna switch my grips on these. <clears throat> I was going neutral grip, which I should have mentioned. First set was neutral grip. So I'm gonna go overhand grip now. Um, just gets me a little bit different muscle activation here. Overhand's typically regarded as the weaker of the grips here for back. So uh, this last one I'm looking forward to. Gonna up the difficulty a little bit. Let's go ahead and get set. If you're on a high row or a pull down, any hammer strength machine, if you can, switch your grip somehow. So you can go supinated, which is underhand. You can go how I'm going right now in the second set, which is pronated. That's an overhand, or you can go neutral grip. Or you can just go wider or closer. Try to switch up that a little bit. Just add some variety to this. Or if you're just trying to grow, grow your lats or something in particular, stick with the same grip. Whatever the fuck you want. All right, let's finish this shit off. That's two down. All right. All right, let's go. Three. Stay in it. Six, seven. Don't stop. Eight, nine. Squeeze, squeeze. Ten. All right. Last set, you bad motherfucker. You still there? Let's 
let's do it, let's do it. One more. One, two, all right, that is a wrap. Go ahead, re-rack all those fucking plates you just put on and off. That's the true last set here. We all know. So make sure you're putting your shit away. Have some damn respect. Or somebody a lot meaner than I am. Gonna run up on you and pull a Rambo. Who saw that last Rambo? Shit was a little brutal. Lacked, lacked some storyline. It's kind of like Taken, but more muscles and more machetes. More Mexicans too. Um, yes, that's it guys. Um, after you put your shit away, feel free to go and stretch out. Shit, yeah, we're right at about an hour. So perfect timing. Go ahead and stretch. Um, you can do some lat stretches. You can do some back stretches. Make sure you cool down. It's gonna enhance your recovery, improve your range of motion, make you a better lifter overall, especially if you're a beginner. Make sure you're stretching out your muscles after you're done. We can do static stretching now instead of dynamic stretching like we did at the beginning. Like if you were watching the video, you'd see the examples I was doing of dynamic movement and dynamic stretches. Right now, at the end of the workout, we want to go into more static stretching. And they say static stretching can increase strength up to 10%. So let's uh, go ahead and get that shit done. I may fuck around and do some abs. I may fuck around and do a little, little bit of extra credit work, but that's, that's the name of the game. You reap what you sow in this game. And I'm trying to get I'm trying to yield a high crop, if you know what I'm saying. So that's it, motherfuckers. Thank you for tuning in and checking it out. If you dig this, you will dig the rest of the shit I'm going to be doing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out all kinds of goodies. And, you know, a lot of things are in the works. So trust, if you enjoy this right now, it's only going to get better. Getting better every week, every time I post a video. Videos are gonna start coming in more thick, more heavy. I'm starting to get some attention, some recognition for doing this shit. So that's just fueling my drive to wanna to put more shit out and get more progress and feedback. So leave me some comments. Let me know what the fuck you wanna see. Particularly if you have questions about lifts or this workout or things you wanna see in the future, please leave me some feedback. I wanna to talk to you. I don't wanna talk at you. So. Give me some shit to talk about, y'all. Let's talk. FamousWolfSF.com for the blog, for the videos, for all my shit. Check out the Instagram stories. Them some bad motherfuckers. At FamousWolfSF is the Insta. And that's it. Appreciate you bad motherfuckers. I will catch you next week. We out. Peace.